it is the most wonderful and stressful time of the year. Yes, the holidays are upon us. And so that means it is time to get holiday shopping. And as I was doing my browsing for things that I wanna get for my loved ones, I figured I would put together a holiday gift guide, I'm doing things a little bit different than last year. Last year I did my holiday gift guides by brand, but instead I've decided to do these by price point. So here is an entire comprehensive list of the most amazing luxury gifts that you can get for less than $1,000. So in terms of the luxury world, these are relatively affordable, not gonna break the bank. You might even wanna get a couple of them for your friends. And I've got everything on this list from sure fire crowd pleasers, things that everyone's gonna love from like your best friend to your mother-in-law who you're trying to impress. And then I've got some more unique, some more special items, a couple from brands that I hadn't heard of until I did this list. So I am so excited to get into them. Now, because there are 25, I'm going to try not to ramble on too long because y'all know the girl loves a little chat. Um, so let's jump into it. First up, we have this gorgeous pillar ring from Bottega Veneta. Now, I won't even lie. One of the things I love about this, other than the styling, is the price point. This is a $500 ring and it is 18 karat gold plated. But the best thing about this is that this isn't costume jewelry. The inside of it is sterling silver, so it is still precious metal all the way throughout. And I mean, any type of ring that's precious metal is going to be extremely expensive. So $500 in the grand scheme of things isn't too bad. And also considering like Bottega's extreme pricing strategy lately, this is like a bargain. This is probably one of the cheapest things that you can find at Bottega. So I absolutely love this ring. I love the styling of it. I think it's something unique and different because it's not just like a typical solid band. It's got that beautiful detail on it and the opening that you can wear however you want, but you probably want to wear it in the front. It looks almost to me like someone has taken a column from a building and like wrapped it around finger. So I love that this is also a little bit unique. And let's be honest, jewelry is something that is always well received. So this is something I definitely recommend. It also comes in a lot of different sizes. So you can get the size that fits right for your loved one. Now we know that another foolproof gift that a luxury lover is always going to love is a bag. And let's be honest, Valentino is like the creme de la creme. And I think Valentino has done such good work in especially the past year, really like bringing their brand up forward in terms of like social media strategy, working with influencers. Valentino now has regained its status as one of those it brands. It's always been a top luxury brand, but I would say over the past years, it kind of like dipped down a little bit in terms of popularity, but it is now back with a vengeance. And so here you can get a gorgeous Valentino Valentino Loco micro bag that can be worn several different ways. And that's one of the things I love about this bag. Now we know tiny bags, mini bags, everyone keeps saying they're going to go out, but let's be honest, mini bags are here to stay. And the great thing about them is that they're so versatile because you can wear them in a lot of different situations. And this bag is no exception. Now it can be worn as like a clutch, a little handheld, or it can be worn, you know, with its long chain strap, so it can be worn crossbody. And it does also have a little clip on the inside, like a little lobster clip. So it looks like you could also kind of like hook this onto your pant loop, or I think you could even wrap the chain around and figure out a way to wear it as a bit of a belt bag and maybe even do it like diagonal across the body, do like a little like under the boot moment. So this bag seems to be able to be worn in a lot of different ways. It's got that big Valentino huge golden V logo. I love it here in this gorgeous, you know, white ivory color. So this is something that I would love to receive. I think anything from Valentino is amazing, but especially this little micro bag for less than $1,000. Now here we have this really interesting limited edition set of lipsticks and miniadere from Dior that I think is such a good value for money. Now, a lot of you know that around the holidays, Dior always does different types of gift sets. And you know, the containers that like the lipsticks or the eyeshadows or whatever will come in are always really good quality. Now, don't get me wrong. Like they're not exactly as good a quality as like a typical Dior bag, but a lot of folks often look forward to getting 
getting Dior holiday gift sets because they know that the container is gonna be something that they can repurpose as a little going out bag, as a clutch, and this is no exception. But I love this one because it's a little bit different than what they've done for many years. So here within the set, I believe you get four different lipsticks, you get one full size and three minis. So it's great because you can try a variety of different colors. There's like a gorgeous corally pink, a dark brown, and you've got some reds in there. So I mean, there's definitely a color in there for everyone, no matter what type of vibe they like to go for when they're wearing their lipsticks. But I think the reason that this is such an amazing gift is the two like accompaniments it comes with. So first you get a little party box, a little mini dare, a little going out, little clutch. This is absolutely perfect to me because it is small, it's compact, and it looks really chic, like it's very glossy, which I love about it. I love the black and gold. So that is amazing. And it's got a chain on it. So like you could wear this out. You could wear this as a little bag. I don't think a phone would fit in it, but as you all know, I'm okay with mini bags that don't fit a phone sometimes especially when they're at a better price point. And I mean, this is $240, so this definitely meets that criteria. But what I also love about this one is that it also comes with a little to-go lipstick container with a chain. So you can kind of layer the two together, or you can just like throw this like in your bag if you want, or you can even just wear the little lipstick container on your own. Like if you wanna have a little like bougie Dior moment, I mean, that would make you look extremely fancy. And so I think this is a great value for money. I actually considered buying this for myself at the Sephora sale, but I'm trying to be good with my money and I'm trying to spend less. So I didn't end up getting it, but if any of you all get this, I would love to hear about the quality of it. Definitely drop that down in the comments below. So that way we can kind of know like, is it really worth the money? But even if that mini dare only lasts like a handful of times, I still think it would be a great value for money. So I definitely recommend this. Now I know that a lot of folks like to go to the mountains. They like to go skiing, snowboarding in the winter months. And so what do you need in order to do that? You need this badass ski mask from Celine. I love this ski mask. Now, to be honest, I don't ski and I don't snowboard. Not because I don't want to, but just because I never learned and then I got to a certain point and now I feel almost like silly, like too old to learn. So it's something I just need to like go spend, I need to like go by myself one weekend, go take some lessons and learn. So whenever I do that, I will need to get some ski clothes, but this Celine ski mask is amazing. I think it's $630 and I love it because it's super chic, but it does have a little bit of razzle-dazzle. Like it's got a few little rhinestones at the top, not too much, because you all know I don't like things that are like, overly encrusted in crystals or rhinestones. And so I feel like this has just the right amount of pizzazz on it. It's got little Celine logo on the straps here. And so I feel like this is very chic. And now if you're like me and like, you're like, I don't ski, I don't snowboard, or the person I'm buying for doesn't ski or snowboard. But you know what they do do? They do apres ski. They do go to the little lodge. They do get some hot cocoa, some little aperitifs, and they do like to look cute while they are sipping, you know, while the other folks are skiing and snowboarding. So either way, as long as you know that someone's got a little mountain weekend coming up, I think that this would be a great addition to their little winter wardrobe. Now here we have something that I would venture to guess very few, if any, of the people that you are shopping for already have. And this is a very cute little Versace apron and oven mitt set. <laughs> now what I love about this is this is really great, obviously for like your home cooks, your cooking enthusiasts such as myself. I don't know if y'all know this about me, but I love to cook. So when you're a home cook, you are always going through aprons, especially when you're doing a lot of holiday cooking. Cause once you cook for a few hours, one's dirty and you might want to like jump into another one. And so it's always good to have multiple aprons and oven mitts on hand. So this would be a really nice addition for that serious cook. But I also think that this is great for someone who doesn't cook, but just like wants to look cute in the kitchen and like sip a little bit of wine. <laughs> you know the person that I'm talking about. Every single family and group of friends has one. This girl needs this Versace apron and oven mitt set. Now I'm gonna be totally honest. I am not familiar with this designer. I think it's Olivia Von Hull, Von Hull. And this is technically a camisole and short sleep set. And by the way, there's like a typo on their thing. It says like camisole and shirt set, but it's the camisole and the shorts. So just in case that was confusing. Um, this is technically a sleep set, but I am not gonna lie. I would not buy this as a sleep set. I would buy this as a really cute little like summertime outfit or a little vacation outfit because it's, 
It's light, it's airy, it's, it's quite feminine and elegant. I love the print on it. And I feel like because it's technically sleepwear, and as we know, like sleepwear as outerwear is also like a thing right now. So you wouldn't be really breaking any type of trend rules by using this one way or the other. But what I love about this is because it's sleepwear, I feel as though the sizes are a bit more forgiving. You know, like it doesn't have to be an exact right fit. And so I'm sure the sizing is probably like small, medium, large. So it's something that's a bit easier if you're not sure, like if someone wears a size two or a size four, or, you know, you could just go with like a small or an extra small. So I love this set. It's also pretty affordable, again, in terms of like luxury lovers. And I feel like this is something different, something unexpected, something that someone wouldn't be anticipating receiving. So I see this as a really gorgeous gift. Now, another item that I actually thought can be pretty forgiving in terms of size is this gorgeous cashmere and wool ribbed sweater from Saint Laurent that's got this nice little turtleneck. I mean, whenever I think of winter, whenever I think of cozying up and being warm and, and not wanting to be freezing, especially with like the colder temperatures, I always think of turtlenecks. I always think of like warm fuzzy sweaters. And this is like a very chic warm fuzzy sweater. And it does have, you know, that little bit of like a YSL logo on it. So there is a little bit of brand recognition, but it's not, you know, overly in your face. It's not like slapped across the front of it or something like that. So I feel like this is a very good, like chic luxury sweater to give someone, especially if the person that you're buying for is really into luxury ready to wear. I mean, this is a great option. Luxury ready to wear can be very pricey. So being able to get a cashmere and wool blend sweater for less than a thousand dollars, I think is such a great value for money, especially because Saint Laurent stuff does have amazing quality. So I feel like this could be a great option for you. Now here is one of those crowd pleasers that I mentioned at the beginning, something that would be good for literally anyone on your list. This is good for your girlfriend, for your wife, for your daughter. This is good for like cousins, nieces, aunts. I mean, this even goes for like uncles and nephews. I mean, like they would probably wear these too. But I also feel like this is really good like for the mothers in your life, the mothers-in-law, sisters-in-law, maybe that you're trying to impress. Grandma would even love these. Literally, the list goes on and on. And it is this pair of Prada mule slides that are just classic, you know? You can't go wrong with these. They've got the Safiano leather up top, which as we know, I'm a huge fan of Prada Safiano leather because it's very durable, which is great. You know, it's not gonna scratch too easily. It's very flat. It's got this tiny, tiny little bit of a heel, not, not a heel, but it's got a little bit there so that way the shoe isn't so flat that it's painful. It's got a little bit so that way it does work, you know, with someone's arches. And you know, this does come in a lot of different colors, but you cannot go wrong with classic black. And again, to get something like a pair of Prada shoes for less than a thousand dollars is a really solid value for money. Now here is a very cute little, almost like a cutesy and adorable pair of sweetheart faux pearl earrings from Oscar de la Renta. So they've got, you know, the cute little heart shape with the little Cupid's bow going through it. And I feel like this is a really good one, especially for the younger folks in your life. You know, maybe like those that are in like the teenage phase. I feel like this is a really like fun and whimsical set of earrings that I definitely probably don't have. So I love this for that. And also, as of the time of like when I'm filming this, these are actually on sale for 40% off. So they also seem to be a really good price point, but even when they're not on sale, these are still a really good price point, but that's because these are costume jewelry. So do keep that in mind. You know, you're not getting real pearls, but I especially think that like younger folks are not necessarily as concerned with if something is a real pearl or a fake pearl. So I wouldn't worry about this too much, but I think this is just like such a cute, adorable little pair of earrings. It definitely puts a smile on my face. So I think that anyone that would receive these really love these. Next up, we have this awesome pair of Fendi boots. They're almost like combat boots, but what I like about these is that they're not overly masculine. You know, a lot of times combat boots, like they're a look, right? Like they are a commitment. They are a statement. And these, I mean, they're definitely a statement, but they feel a bit softer, um, which is something that I really like. And also that's probably part and parcel of the fact that it's because it's got like the soft, you know, material on the sides. It's not all leather, which that probably softens up the look overall. And this is really great because it's also got the little Fendi FF cuff at the top, which is really good because I mean like logos are still really in and a lot of people like to flex. So you've got someone that wants 
want some logos, you know, if they want some branding on what they've got, this is a great one for them. And I know I said this a couple times, but seriously, to get a pair of Fendi boots for less than a thousand dollars is an amazing value for money. So I think that these are just such a great option, especially because they're flat. Like no one's gonna complain about heel height or anything like that. So honestly, I think just about anyone on your shopping list would love to have a pair of these. Now this next one is something that like, I'm not gonna lie, I wanna buy for myself. I love this golden jewelry box from Erin because the aesthetic of this is seriously just like chef's kiss. Like this is very, upscale it's also it does feel very now but classic at the same time because as we know like gold has had such a comeback and the persian me is very happy about this but it's also a very classic styling especially because of the light colored interior i think this is beautiful and what i like about this jewelry box is that it can also be a bit of a showpiece i love things that have both utility and aesthetic woven into it like there are some very functional jewelry boxes out there, but like they're not that cute, right? And so I want something that's like a little bit of both. And so this I think would be a really good addition to anyone's wardrobe that's like a big jewelry collector. Say they've maybe outgrown the jewelry box that they have and they need a little bit of extra storage. This could be a great add-on or this is also good for someone with maybe a smaller jewelry collection or they only have a few pieces of like real jewelry, like precious metals and stones and things like that. I think that this is a beautiful option for them. Now, even though this next item is not necessarily my style, I could not help but fall in love with these Prada Triangle sunglasses because of all of the different color treatments. You know, it's got the brown, the green, and the orange. And I love that this is like Prada, but different. Because obviously like a lot of what Prada is known for, it's like very strong shapes, very strong silhouettes. And they're always um, oftentimes quite serious. Like it's like black, navy, white, maybe like red if they're getting wild. So I love that this is really and truly out there in terms of colors. And I feel like this is for like your true fashion gal. Like the girl who would spend money on Vogue instead of paying her rent, like she's the one that would love to get this pair of sunglasses. And I feel like these are also gonna be very durable because they're very thick, which I really like, because I feel like you're gonna get a lot of longevity out of these. So I think that these are a great pair of sunglasses for just about any type of fashion lover. Now, I know I mentioned earlier that I love to cook, so I couldn't help but put another item on here for the cooking lovers, the cooking enthusiasts out there, they deserve a cooking presence too, because honestly, like kitchen equipment is really expensive. So it is a great gift to give. And I found this pair of cookware from Goop that I am in love with. If I was in the market for new pots and pans, I would wanna get this. First off, this is actually a very good price point for a 10 piece set of cookware. I mean, typically that can be anywhere from like 500 to 1,000 to over $1,000. So this is an especially good price point, especially considering the fact that it's from Goop and Goop is not necessarily known for being cheap, but the aesthetic of this, I mean, this is gorgeous. This is timeless. This is absolutely stunning. And it's like something that you could leave one out on top of, you know, your stove or your oven. And it could be a bit of like, a decoration or showpiece you know it's not something that has to be put down in the cupboards and i really like that aspect i will be honest as someone who cooks a lot i wonder how this stuff would clean and like is it going to be something that i can keep looking beautiful as it is over time eh, that i don't know i don't know about the practicality of it but i know that i think it's gorgeous and again for 400 dollars to get a 10 piece cookware set is a phenomenal value so for all you cooking fans out there, you might wanna look into this set of pots. Now we know I had to put another bag on this list and I have this gorgeous little 4G, it's almost like a wallet on chain from Givenchy. And I cannot believe this like pistachio light pastel green color. It is beautiful. I mean, I love this for so many different reasons. I love that it's got the gold on it. And obviously the gold with the pistachio, I think is such a beautiful color, but I also just really like the shape of it. And you know, the way the details on the chain complement the shape of the bag so nicely. 
I think that this is just like a really gorgeous feminine classy bag. Like this is something that I think a lot of like the classic lovers would love, but it's not your typical classic bag, right? Like it's not like your Saint Laurent Kate's, you know, it's not like your Chanel walks. It's something a little bit different, but still feels classic. It feels timeless. And this is something that would definitely stand the test of time. So if you really want to put a smile on someone's face, if you really want to go for it, definitely take a look at this wallet on chain. Now, when thinking of luxury, I feel like one of the things I naturally think of is cashmere. And so when I saw this fitted cashmere tank top, I was like, Whew, this is absolutely gorgeous. And I won't lie. There's something about this that in a way feels kind of sexy to me. Like just like a very like sleek fitted cashmere tank top with like a casual pair of jeans. Like to me, that's really hot. Like that is like elegantly hot. I don't think elegantly is a word, but I think that this is a gorgeous tank top. I love this dark like sage, like oregano type of green. I do not know why I just used two herb colors to describe it, but it is like a sagey green. Um, I think that this is really beautiful. It's a really good price point and it's from Ralph Lauren. So you know it's gonna have impeccable construction. You know it's going to wear well over time. Um, so I think that it's just a beautiful option and it's really great if, if none of these other things have taken your fancy so far, like who wouldn't want a fitted cashmere tank top? Now speaking of cashmere, one thing that I love is a cashmere lined glove. And Valentino has this beautiful pair of leather gloves that are lined with cashmere. And it's got this like golden chain Valentino detail on the outside. These to me are like the epitome of a fancy lady, like a lady who lunches, you know? She's a lady that brings gloves with her everywhere she goes. Now, I don't know if these are great, like if you are in super cold weather climates, like you might wanna go with something a little bit more utilitarian, but if you're somewhere where it's got like regular winter temperatures, I think that these are a great necessity. These are something that will get a lot of use, like especially folks like those who live in New York that walk to work every day, like they need gloves in the winter time. And so this Valentino pair seems like it would do just the trick for them. I mean, we were just talking about winter, but like we're gonna switch over to summer here because I know that a lot of people in the winter time, especially after the holidays, like to go on a little tropical vacay or in like January, February, they take that time to go somewhere warm and escape the winter weather. So here we have this beautiful beach towel from Missoni. Now, I know when a lot of people think of luxury beach towel, they often think like Hermes or Chanel, but honestly, I love Missoni for anything summertime related because it's bright, it's colorful, it's always got like that beautiful little like zigzaggy chevron type of print. And there's just something about it that feels so appropriate for summertime. And you know, I think that these are absolutely beautiful. Like this towel is gorgeous. And what I like about it is because it's got so many different colors on it, it A, camouflages stains really well, so like, if you're laying out and you're having a little snack or something by the pool, you drop a little something, it won't show up on your towel, which is great. But also because of all the colors, I feel like this would match a lot of different like aesthetics or interior points of view that someone has at their house or their beach house or something like this. You don't really have to worry as much about this matching unless there's someone that's like neutrals only, then this would not match the decor that they have in their home. But for just about anyone else, this is definitely a safe bet. And again, not too pricey on the grand scheme of things. Now next up on the list is something for those beauty lovers, you know, those skincare enthusiasts, the friend that's always getting facials, always trying new treatments on her face, always trying to look her absolute best. You have got to get them this PMD beauty cleansing device. Now, the way this works, and I'm actually gonna show you because I have this. Mine's slightly different. Mine doesn't have a gold bottom, mine has a rose gold bottom, but it's basically a facial cleansing device that you can turn on and it's got four different modes. So like, you know, it's got a bunch, but I just put it on the second setting, which is just like a fast vibrate, I guess. <laughs> oh, I always wonder, honestly, I always wonder if my neighbor like hears me using this and like thinks like, what am I, what's she doing in the bathroom? But I'm like, it's just, just washing my face. <laughs> this is great because you turn it on, it comes with batteries and it's a great little like silicone bristle a brush on one side. And on the other side, it's a bit smoother and you can use it to either like 
wash your face. So what I'll do sometimes is I'll put on my face wash and then I'll like do, 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 go over it with this. And so this does a lot of work in terms of like removing debris, unclogging pores, which is really essential in terms of skincare without doing any type of harsh exfoliation. That's always what you want to avoid. But if maybe you're not so much into that, another thing that I will do sometimes is I'll use this side. Once I've put like a serum on my face, I'll turn it on and I'll actually use this to massage the serum into my face. This is one of the most amazing products out there. There are a lot of different types of, you know, skincare devices like this, but I, this is my favorite one. I got introduced to this at work and I knew it was a good one when one of my girlfriends from work, she was in town visiting and her husband was with her and he was like this, he was telling me about the PMD beauty cleanser and he was like, this is no joke, one of my favorites to the point that I own two. He's like, I use one on my face and he actually bought a second one to use in the shower on his body. And he's like a very masculine guy. So if you know like a masculine guy is gonna say this is good, like it's good. So definitely recommend these for any type of skincare enthusiasts. Now kind of related to like the whole beauty thing, there is this gorgeous eyeshadow palette that Gucci has come out with. And I'm gonna be very honest, I cannot decide if I like the eyeshadows on the inside more or the exterior of it. Like, this is such a beautiful palette. I mean, it is a stunner. This is something that someone actually like keeps out on their vanity or on their countertop almost as a showpiece because the palette is just absolutely gorgeous with the decoration on the outside. And what I love about this palette is that the colors on the inside, they're unique. These are colors that you are not going to get in every single palette. They're not your same old nudes that you always get. And so I feel like this is for like those true like makeup enthusiasts, those that, you know, like practice a lot of what they see on social or on YouTube. Like this is for them because it's got some fun pop colors like bluish purples. And I think that this is really beautiful. And again, like who doesn't want to get a gift from Gucci under the tree? I mean, like, Seriously, anyone would be happy to get this. So I definitely recommend this eyeshadow palette from Gucci. Now I know I already gave you a ring at the beginning of this list, but I've got another one here from a brand I've not heard of or a designer I've not heard of called Sydney Evan. I am totally in love with this Marquee Eternity Band. I mean, it's just really beautiful. And what I love about it is that it's designed but also simple and understated at the same time. And if there is anything that describes what I love, it's that mix of things where it doesn't feel plain, but it feels understated. And so I think that this is beautiful. And I like that this could be worn with a lot of other pieces of jewelry and it wouldn't take away from anything, but it would still add a little something, something to like whatever jewelry types of like stacks you tend to wear on a regular basis. So I'd never heard of this brand before, but she's got some really, I, I think it's a she, maybe it's a he, I don't know. There's some really beautiful pieces by Sydney Evan and I think that this ring is definitely one of them. So you should really take a look at this. Now here is something that is a really nice fashionable twist on a classic staple for a winter wardrobe. Now there are a lot of puffy vests out there, right? And ugh, like, uh, more often than not, like they're not super cute, right? There might be like a lot of like Patagonia vests or like mountain hardware vests or even like the Lululemon ones, which aren't that bad. Um, but they're always quite puffy and like they're not very chic and they're not very figure flattering. But this one from a brand I'm not familiar with called Rains, Ryan's, I don't know. It's this gorgeous W puffer vest. And this is like the chicest puffer vest that I have ever seen. I love that it doesn't have any logo or any branding because I feel like most puffer vests and coats in general always have these huge logos on them which is one of the reasons i they just feel a bit like cheesy almost to me so i love that this is like chic black like very elegant and i love the tapered shape because this will really help give you that hourglass figure which as we know like not everyone strives for but like it's a body shape that i quite like so i love that it helps give that illusion of a little bit of like a smaller waist and i love the little like asymmetrical situation it's got going on like it's absolutely beautiful and this is not that much more expensive than a puffer from like patagonia or lululemon it's maybe like at most $100 more. So if you're just willing to go up a little bit more in price point, you can get this very chic luxury puffer vest that I think someone in a colder climate would love to have because it would be a breath of fresh air versus all of those other ugly Patagonia puffer vests that we're all kind of stuck with. 
Now, next up, I have two amazing options of baseball caps from Saint Laurent, and I like both of them for different reasons. So first off, there's this gorgeous solid black one, and I believe it's in like a felt material, which feels like it would be quite warm. And I love this one because very similar to like the puffer we just talked about, it's very plain. It doesn't have too much going on on it, which is nice because again, a lot of hats always have like a logo on it. And so there's a lot going on. And if it doesn't match your outfit perfectly, like I feel like you can't wear the two together a lot, but here it's very plain. All it has is like a little Saint Laurent, little golden logo on the side. And that feels like it would match just about anything unless you're wearing like an all silver outfit, which is probably pretty rare. So. This is a great one. I love this one. It's very understated. It's very chic and it's less than $500. And then here is one that is probably like a little bit more casual. Like the other one's still very casual, right? But this one, because it does have the S and the L on it, it feels more like that typical, like athletic collegiate, you know, like sports team type of baseball cap, but it's got an S and an L on it. And I'd be lying if I said I wasn't partial to it because it's like my initials, but reversed. So. I love this baseball cap too, but either one seems like a great one. You can't go wrong with a baseball cap, especially in black because it matches a lot of stuff. And again, who wouldn't want something from Saint Laurent? Now, this next item just makes the cut at being under $1,000 because it is $995. But I love the idea of this ocean plastics watch from Tom Ford. Now, a lot of luxury brands have been doing a lot of work in terms of making more sustainable items. So like Adidas, Tom Ford, obviously like Stella McCartney, like everyone's trying to be more sustainable. They're trying to find other sources of materials that they can use that don't impact the planet as much in various ways. And this has been made out of recycled ocean plastics. I think most of it, not all of it, but most of it has been made out of recycled materials. So that's great because it's very, eco-friendly and would be great for someone where you know that like that makes their heart sing. We have those people out there, those activists that still like luxury, right? And they deserve to still like luxury. And so I think that this watch is a great one for them. And it's a beautiful like Swiss made watch. It's Tom Ford, so you know it's gonna be good quality. And I also really like it here in this white color because I feel like it looks very modern. And I feel like it would also be like a nice watch to get someone who might already have like a typical everyday watch and like gold, silver, or leather. This white one could be like a nice little additional one for them. You might want to change it up a little bit. I think it's a really beautiful watch and I just love how different it is and I love the story behind it. Now I know that there have been a lot of Gucci items on this list, but I could not help but also include this pair of Gucci espadrilles. And the reason I love these so much is because these are actually quite a cute pair of espadrilles. Talked about this before. There are certain espadrilles in the world that are just very clunky, like they're just not so cute. I feel like these are absolutely beautiful. I love this like almost like blue tweed material with like the little interlocking GGs on it. And I feel like this is good if you know someone really likes espadrilles. Like I know a lot of folks have the Chanel espadrilles. And if you've got several pairs of Chanel espadrilles and maybe you just want a different type of espadrille, like if you want to branch out a little bit or the person that you're buying for would want to branch out a little bit, this is a great option. Also because espadrilles, like they don't last forever because of the material they're made out of. Once you have them for like a couple years, they get kind of gross and they often need to be replaced. So, you know, if you're kind of like bored of the espadrilles that you do have, I would definitely recommend taking a look at these ones because these are very cute in terms of espadrilles. And finally, we have what I think is one of the most fun items on this list. And it is this pair of Fendi Force sneakers. So like I have said many times on this list, anytime you can get a pair of Fendi shoes or luxury shoes in general for less than $1,000, that is a feat. And these definitely fall into that criteria. And I think that these are great because these hit on a lot of different points. They are a platform, which is very much so in at the moment. You know, people love a platform or a platform, you know, whatever it is that you want to call it. Um, it's got the logo element to it, so it's got that brand recognition. We love the little Fendi Zucca print. And then I just love this little rainbow on this side. And I like the rainbow for like a variety of different scenarios. Obviously, like it's just great for like our whimsical friends. There are a lot of people out there who like 
Rainbow just like is part of their aesthetic. So this would be great for them. It's also great for folks that are maybe members of like the LGBTQIA plus community that, you know, want to show their pride and they want, like they still want to have luxury, but they want something that's like luxurious pride. This is great for them. And this is also just great for someone who's looking for a different type of sneaker. Something that is not the same as all the other sneakers that they have. Like this definitely would stand out in a collection. So I think that this is an amazing pair of shoes that you could gift just about anyone. So whew, that was a lot. That was a list of 25 luxury items under $1,000. I really hope that you enjoyed this list. And if you wanna see any other types of gift guides for me, like if you wanna see like a more masculine list or one like for men or, or for if you wanna see a gender neutral one, like for anyone or even for like non-binary folks, definitely put that down in the comments below and I would be happy to do that for you. And also let me know what you thought of the items on this list. Are these things that you are considering buying or are these things that you would like to receive for Christmas? Definitely let me know. I would love to hear all about it. And thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you are here all the way to the end, please, I would love it if you could just give this video a little like. Just give a little thumbs up down in the corner below because this video took a very long time to prepare and film for. And if you haven't already, what are you doing? You need to subscribe to my channel. So that way you can get all my latest content about all things shopping delivered straight to you. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Lily and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye everyone.